Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. Uh, I'll be showing you a quick tutorial how you could set up a open VPN in AWS. And if you got a, a free account, you can use this service for free. So without wasting any time, we can quickly start the process itself. Uh, just to make sure there are a few things that you will need before you start the installation. One thing is you will need your AWS keys sorted to access to that machine. And another thing is you will need a security group that needs to have all the required um, firewall rules in place. So what we're gonna do first is, uh, let, once you log into AWS console or account, just um, go to security groups first. Let's say I go to EC2 instances. And if I go to security groups, uh, I have a security group called as OpenVPN. And if you see the rules, I have a bunch of rules here. So we'll need uh, HTTPS for the um, secure web server. All I see NP to check the ping, uh, SSS for the connection. Um, UDP for the OpenVPN config and uh, 943 for it, um, um, uh, the UI itself. So once you have these, what you gotta do is go to C2. You just need to launch an instance, and I will name it as OpenVPN AWS. And go to browse more AMIs, and you just need to search as VPN. So you'll get, you should get something here. Okay, you should get this open VPN. Click on select. I will do continue. And select your key pair. By the way, I'm based in Sydney. So I'm using Singapore based AWS uh, data center to connect and that's where I will be configuring my things. And in terms of the security groups, we need to select the OpenVPN uh, security group that I created and I've already said what are the rules we'll need. And another thing is if you go to let's say network and to edit, uh, what I would like to always do is disable the auto assign public IP. The reason is I uh, will need to set up an elastic IP here because by default, the IP that's assigned to any virtual machine in AWS, the IP would just change once you reboot the machine. So it's all dynamic. So for the VPN to work properly, you will need a static IP address. So that's how, um, that's why we need to disable it. And once the uh, VM is fully like up and running, we'll change. Uh, our elastic IP or our static IP. So click on launch instance. Um, finish the setup. So once uh, the VM is deployed, let's go to instance again. Mm. And this is in running state. What you need to do is first up the instance. And let's get this elastic IP over here. And uh, by default, this is how it's gonna be. Let's say release elastic IP. So this is the initial case that you'll see. So what you gotta do is first allocate an elastic IP. It will assign an IP to your account. And once you're an IP, click here and click on SSH Elastic IP address to a virtual machine, which is in stop state. If you recall, if you remember this IP, I will just copy it here. If you click on associate now, if you go to EC2 dashboard and click on instance, uh, this should have the same IP that we copied, right? Now, once you have that IP signed, 
So you just need to start the instance. And uh, one more thing. Uh, once you have the instance ready, let's say, let me ping IP. You have ICMP enabled. So let's wait for it to be available. The reason it's showing as timeout is because the virtual machine is in um, booting state. So once it's fully booted, then we should be able to see the ping response. As you can see, we already got the ping response now, which means the VM is ready to log in. So I like cancel it. And also, you should have your SSH keys or your AWS keys downloaded before you even start the process. So let's say I have my um, key here. So what I'll do is SSH hyphen I AWS key. And uh, just be careful with this step now. So the user that we should log in is open vpn as as at the rate 18.136.158.37 this is what you will need i'll make the screen bigger so that we can see it clearly enter yes now this will prompt uh, this message here. So we just need to type as yes. And uh, it will also ask, will this be the primary access server node? Yes. So it will also ask, please specify the network interface and IP address to be used by the admin web UI. Uh, you can always click on default one. And please enter the port number for the app bin web UI. As you should remember, we had a port 943 that allowed in security group. This is the reason for that one. And 443 is for HTTPS. And should the traffic be routed through the VPN? This is where you should mark it as yes. So that all the traffic is routed through this open VPN server. DNS, yes, as well. Use local authentication via internal DB. You can use default, that's yes. And yes. Do you wish to uh, log into AdMuia as OpenVPN? Uh, for now, I can put yes. Later on. So it should initiate the initial script and it should, in it should install everything that's required. And it will show you this thing here for the admin part. And by default, uh, you won't have any um, IP address here, or sorry, um, you won't have any user password that's been assigned. So what you need to do is you need to be root first. Then you just type PASSWT because we'll be using OpenVPN as a user. So change the password of OpenVPN. I will put it as, let's say, OpenVPN itself. So I'm using user OpenVPN and I've, just for the testing, I've used OpenVPN as a password as well. So if you see this link, this should, this should take you to a web UI page. And if you go paste and go, this is a self signed certificate, so don't worry about it. So it should take you to this page. User is open VPN and password is same open VPN as well. I just agree the terms and conditions. And for testing now, what you should do is go to user management, go to user permission, and give a new user. Let's name let let's name it as AWS or YouTube. 
and if you click on here let's um give a password as open vpn itself everything is same um use vpn gateway i will say okay let's leave everything default here click on save so update the running server we got the user here and we get the password so we got the user youtube we got the password as well so what you should do now is um if you just remove this admin part and this put number you should see let's see if you log in like this um using let's say youtube and open vpn for you to open vpn it should prompt with these things what it's doing is it's just a link to download all the files or config files that's required so i already have that thing downloaded so i will just open up this app it's called open uh if you find and just give these details that are the public ip is the public ip click on next and the user is youtube password is open vpn it will just import everything now uh wait let's give the password again and VPN. Okay, so it's connected, which means um, the server is now getting all the traffic that's required. And uh, since we have set up the routing is done through, um, okay, if you want to just stay it here, you can always do this and go to admin. And if you go to like settings and everything here, config, you can see, you know, like um, config. So which port to use, blah, blah, blah. And uh, web plan server, central inter uh, interfaces. These are all can be configured from here itself. So once you have the VPN ready, now the thing is we should do the litmus paper test. That is, if I do what's my IP, I should see the public IP of the AWS server. What's my IP? Voila. So if you go here to this website, this is the expected IP, isn't it? So 18.136.158.37. This is the same IP that we have in our VPN server, which means we have successfully routed all the traffic going in from my machine to the internet and the gateway would be this open vpn so all the restricted things are not just that let's say if you want to have a secure connectivity and you want everything um, to be encrypted for all the things that you do you can always set up these things and start browsing the internet this is what i normally do as well so that's all for now uh, if you got any um, new questions, just feel free to leave a comment there. Else, uh, that's all for now. Thank you, guys.